Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Diddy K. That doesn't look like Diddy to me, but maybe he's wearing a mask. 1100 MMR against our, tw like, 1250. Though we did win a round for once. Oh my god, I am so dark right now. Here's a, here's a thing. Oh, I love the speed specialist so much. I'm, I don't, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, okay? Now, we got good uh, AoE... They've got good single target. We've got decent single target. I think that, for me, if we're speed specialists, it's all about the uh, the crawler strats here. You know, they have tanks. Tanks are good at little crowd control ability, but they're not, like, that good at it. So I wonder if, like, if I were to double down on one side, perhaps, and do, like, a... Uh, Kind of play a little bit more forward and then i don't know maybe put these guys out in a weird kind of orientation maybe a little bit further back so they don't get sniped immediately and then yeah you just kind of make sure nothing sneaks by and now we're kind of overdoing one flank and now we're playing asymmetric let's actually uh flatten our screen here and see how this goes. So I'm just worried that the arc lights need some range to uh, be effective. So these crawlers, see there's two of them coming through. A little bit spooky for me. Not something that I'm loving. Not something that I'm loving. They look like they're going to get something on me, but with my breaking of their base first, our timing is fine. This tank just isn't fast enough to exploit uh, their kind of, that win on that side. And then, yeah, there you go. We're in like Flynn, basically. Looks like we're gonna trade bases again. Little bzzz. Then they're getting on mine, watching it go. And I actually think that like arc lights having more range is really appealing to me right now. Just for more like AoE stuff. But maybe, um, and there's a whole bunch of different things that we could do. The portable shield is nice, the strike specialist. I think the shield device could be massive for us kind of down the line. So let's go for that. Um, I think crawlers are chilling. What do we want to do? I like the idea of getting more arc lights. I think that they're pretty important for clearing out the the crap that they have coming at me. And then maybe like a crawler squadron over here. And even though I have a little bit of extra money left, I'd rather save it for next gen. Where he's gonna get a level one <clears throat> rhino on the next turn here. And I don't know, I think he's gonna deploy it in my, <clears throat> excuse me in my back corner on either side. So I guess I need more um, steel balls. Photon coating is good, but I don't think it's that great against my uh, lasers because they do build up to do a tremendous amount of damage. So even a 50% damage reduction on something that basically scales to infinity is not, uh, not that big of a deal really. And having level two steel balls, man, we are, we are getting paid right now. So, again, though, this base is losing health, and it's losing health pretty quickly. I probably could have spent my $100 investing in that. Here's really low damage for us since we lost our base. Looks like it could happen again, so they are going to win this one. That was good timing for them uh, getting that kill. That kill on our base, that is. Now, subsidized arc lights, I really do like. Getting extended range, to me, makes sense. The problem is that, like, I think that I need to get something to kill his rhinos that he might spawn in my back corner. So maybe I'm just being crazy with it, but... 
Something like this, and then some health. So he did he did deploy it over here. He got a level three by doing an intensive training on it. Interesting. Um and then he did buy the missile. The is that gonna go here? No, it's gonna do a good one. So let's see, he's got a 50% timer on building that up. Thankfully we we kind of baited that out. The missile he bought on this side was certainly annoying for us. We should be good over here, though, right? I mean, how countered are we by some level 2 crawlers? I'm not sure. And, like, I think if we buy the HP absorption, these level 1 steel balls going to level 2 should be enough. And then they will tank way better in these situations as well. Timing, once again, though, it's not going to work out. Had these guys been even faster, right? We are the speed specialist, but if they were even better at it, we may have gotten something out of it. But yeah, I think that the HP from using the laser is appealing to me. I'll just take the supply specialist. I think he can take the redeployment module, annoyingly enough. Um, and that will do wonders for him. But hey, look, we can only we can only do what we can do, all right? So a couple more, like just in case something weird happens, we can throw you down, we can throw you down. And that keeps that side kind of chilling. Let's see if he keeps buying missiles on that side. I think he's gonna redeploy. Oh no, he added uh, the crawlers. So it's a good thing I threw in some uh, arc lights preemptively there. And he's got fangs on this side, interesting. I kind of like the idea of getting my own rhinos. Looks like he's going to come straight forward. He does got good attacks, but I am healing. Oh, come on. One more second and I think we would have had him. Instead, we do not. So good, good, you know, good play on his part, certainly. Did he get the circular saw thing? Yeah, the whirlwind? He did. But hey, we have some healing, okay? So there's a chance that we survive this. Um, not beat everything, but at least if we get this debuff, we got a chance to heal and kill, right? Even with his marksman. I actually think we would have beat this flank. It's just the fact that we're gonna lose another, um, kind of another flank to him. We were so close to beating this uh, Rhino as well, which is kind of the sad part. Um, do we want... Nano Repair? I think I want like a Junior Manufacturing Specialist, right? Then you go like... Well, here's the thing is I still need like a Melting Point over here, right? Just you throw a Melting Point down, he chills out. But then, I should have got rank 2. Well, I can focus on upgrades this turn then. But yeah, two, two more arc lights to me makes sense. Um, just to make sure everything stays kind of kosher here. And... Yeah, I do want to get them extended range, so I'm wondering, like, how I can make that happen. Uh, clearly, I don't have the cash this round, so I'm just going to get the attack bonus. He does have the redeployment, which is what might waste this melting points ability, so I'm going to move him over a little bit. Nothing on this side coming in. But yeah, he's going for rhinos. And now that I have a melting point unlocked, it'll be so much easier to get even more melting points. And then I think that they get the extended range. Um, and they should do, like, everything will be kind of stuck up taking damage here from the steel balls on the front line. So I think we'll be fine on that in that sense. It's just about getting a couple of extended range, like, melting points in the back. Um, maybe even getting armor on the steel balls could make a big difference, just because they are taking a lot of, like, trash damage, I would say. 
extended range is 300 for you. But I don't know, I feel like it would be great. Hmm. I'll just take the senior attack specialist. That's that's fine. Um, again, though, buying all these upgrades makes it hard to basically buy anything else. But if I buy extended range on you, I'm going to take the loan just so that this turn I can also buy extended range here. And that, um, that should enable me to get one, two, and then plus one, another one. And then I already have these tech upgrades. Maybe I buy range just for one turn, okay? We're just gonna chill out for one turn. Let it let it be what it needs to be. He could nuke me pretty good right now, but look, it is it is what it is, alright. I don't know. Something like they have extended range right now, so we're so we're so good at the range. We'll see what he does. He's getting more rhinos. He's getting the uh, anti-tech on his sniper, which is interesting. It's certainly not uh, what have, I would have expected. I don't have uh, this turn a melting point on this side, unfortunately. So that's something that we're kind of messing up right now. I mean, it's working. Um, certainly it's working and this extended range is helping out come on boys keep it firing they're actually doing a great job with the level 3 in particular these arc lights I mean if I can get the elite uh, like marksman upgrade for the arc lights I think we're going to go so hard right now um, but I still need a melting point on this side did I buy the melting point HP? Oh, I built. I bought the healing ray. Oh, that's a mistake. That's certainly a mistake. Okay, bombardment here. We're gonna need some shields on our side because he's he's gonna do that. Um, it's hard to buy all these upgrades, but it's worth it. It really is. Like, see all these arc lights that are just getting that much stronger. Um, and then, yeah, I think I pay the hundred to get level twos and then buy extended range again, because that was pretty sick. And if I can get them the elite upgrade, I think it'll do even better. I think he's going to do a bombardment or something. For the sake of argument, I, w I need some anti-air units. <laughs> like, I'm surprised he hasn't gone for that yet. What is the... Oh, yeah, just photon coating. Fair enough. So, yeah, here comes the bombardment. That's a good spot for his. I probably should have put mine more forward as well, but I don't think he comes that far forward. It's uh, it's a bit of a mess. This, this happens very fast, though. So, at least, like, this side here is basically just immediately coming to reinforce. So, they got a missile. Then they got some bombardment. We got some bombardment on them kind of a mess both ways around thankfully we have like reinforcement steel balls that come in after the fact and i'm healing from a lot of this bombardment so i guess this is just working for us i can't believe i bought the healing ray with my melting point i'm really upset with myself for that because the range is what i needed like if he goes for overlords or something like that that's absolutely what i need right now it's not mattering very much uh, because we're just crushing him with high-level units. But, um, you know, it's my bad. Okay. Um, orbital Javelin? No, I mean, you gotta go Parasitic Ammo. I just don't know what you put it on yet. And then we buy Elite Marksman. Everything's kind of looking good. And then... 
I just don't know what's getting so many kills that it deserves the, like, parasitic ammo on it. Level 3 arc light. Level 4 arc light might actually be the game here. Um, so you're chilling. Extended range. Level 2. Bye bye. And yeah, I mean, we just got so many arc lights that it's, it's so chilling. Okay, they're getting melting points as well. Interesting. I'm more and more considering... Oh, maybe he's just getting it for the anti-tech. Yeah, okay. I'm more and more considering the fact that I need... Uh, I need the melting point on this side with the extended range. But, like, now I'm like, hey, do I need some sort of, like, storm collar? Do I need... Look at this. Look at this little flank here. I think the arc lights are just it, fam. I think if I get them the damage bonus, it's over. Like, they are absolutely... The fact that they are so cheap and we're stacking subsidized arc... Well, I think we've won, actually. He has 700 health. What am I even... Why am I even talking right now? And that's with getting the wrong upgrade on our melting point. But I was rushed. I mean, come on. That, you have so little time in this game. Let's see what that does to our elo. We did have an advantage, so not too big. But hey. Two wins in a row, okay? Let's not... <laughs> <laughs> Let's not downplay. We're, we're stoked to be winning with any degree of consistency. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.